What's good, YouTube? Slender Revolution X here, um, and as you guys can see, I'm back home, home sweet home, uh, back from vacation, so back to my own schedule and things. And what I wanted to talk to you guys today about was um, how Konami is trying to bring synchros back into the game and make them competitive. Um, with the Judgment of the Light spoiler list, we've seen the release of eight new synchros so far. And, I mean, there's still cards to be released, so we might see some other things as well. And along with that, we are finally giving them a chance against Exceed Monsters um, with the release of XYZ Encore, which says, um, target one face-up XYZ monster your opponent controls that has um, material attached to it. Detach all XYZ materials from it, and if you do, return it to the deck, to the extra deck. That in itself is amazing, but it continues to go on. Um, to make it completely not broken. Um, then if there is a monster card in the graveyard among those detached XYZ materials, special summon as many of those as possible from the, the graveyard to your opponent's side of the field in face of defense position. The levels are reduced by one and cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this card's activation. That's awesome. This card has single-handedly given that given Synchro monsters, or any deck that doesn't use exceeds, or even decks that do use exceeds, um, a great, great, great defense against them. So now you look at synchro players, uh, they have a response to Big Eye, Dragosack, and most importantly, Ophion. Um, Ophion specifically uh, made it almost impossible to run any kind of synchro centric deck. I mean, you look at cool decks that were back out there, uh, Quasar, which you st still see a little bit of just because Quasar is such a powerhouse card. But uh, quick draw decks don't really see too much anymore because they have nothing except for those synchros to get over big monsters like that. Um, Plants and uh, Curry, Curry, all of these synchro based decks couldn't really do anything against Ophion because of Ophion's instant lose effect. I mean, you're looking at a lot of these decks that were good in the past, even that didn't weren't around, weren't synchro centric, um, like Heroes and Agents. Uh, those decks have very very good. Um, ways to put out big monsters and when Ophion's on the field with decent protection like safe zone and things like that and infestation pandemic it's almost impossible to be able to win in those matchups um, because you look at what you're doing XYZ's or exceeds are the you know new generation of power cards you, you're taking decks um, that are already behind and not not as not I won't say not as competitive but they aren't nearly as successful as they used to be um, and giving them a disadvantage on top of that because um, you're putting up against a card that is an insta-lose against any kind of synchrocentric deck. Um, so this card makes it very, very viable for those decks to come back and everything. Uh, and I think more importantly than anything is to know that Konami isn't just giving up on synchros. Um, it was a very, very cool personality of the game, and I have said it before that it's awesome to see new things like that and that they aren't giving up on it because I mean it was so such a big aspect of the game for so long and then I mean a lot of times you thought that maybe once they started making exceeds uh, they would just give up on it entirely but with this new release in Judgment of the Light you're seeing that they're really not doing that they're continuing with it bringing it back into the game and trying to get it back into the meta of things back into the main meta so they they can compete well and due to the fact that these new releases of synchros and things like that um, I love the idea of almost going into next format with a completely level playing field. Um, with XYZ Encore, Encore, you're not going to see a lot of these decks being able to do things like they are right now. Like you look at Prophecies, not necessarily Prophecies because the dominant Prophecy is not really XYZ based at all, but like Dragon Rulers, things like that. Like Abyss Gaius isn't going to be such a big problem for Synchrocentric or Hero players. Uh, Dragosac, Big Eye, you're not worried about losing your monsters as much. Um, and the fact that that card is, you can't chain things against it, so especially against like Ophion, um, they can't chain that Infestation Pandemic, so it, it's just a great, great card, and it's cool to see something finally coming back against XYZs when Synchros have been, you know, had that, so much hate upon them recently with the release of XYZs and things. Um, but like I said, I love the idea of Next Format going into almost a completely level playing field. Um, I think with the release of Judgment of the Light, you're going to see a lot new, um, a lot of new innovative and interesting decks um, sort of crawl up through the woodwork because 
you don't have to, you know, hide in the shadows of XYZ base decks like Evil Swarm um, and Dragon Rulers and things like that. Um, but of course, that all really depends on the September 1st ban list. Um, and you can't overlook that because that can seriously change everything that I've just said into something completely different, depending on what they hit or what they don't hit. Um, so guys, with the release of all this, please give me a comment in the comment section below, leaving your thoughts behind, um, you know, anything. What you guys think of these cards, what you guys would like to see on the ban list, things like that. I'm always uh, uh, up for input. Um, but other than that, please guys, remember to thumbs up this video, and as always, subscribe to join the revolution today, and I will see you guys next time.